Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on um, your currency. So currently we are coming to a very important week as we've got a lot of important data. So first of all, this is um, testimony of the Jerome Powell in, uh, in Washington. It, it should happen right at the eve of the rate uh, change in the March policy. And uh, the Jerome Powell speech will be on Thursday. Right after that, we, we will get the non-farm proposals, whereas the actually uh, wage inflation will, will become the most important thing. But of course, unemployment is also important. So uh, current report and vehicle report that we have prepared today, we mostly dedicated to financial uh, situation and what to expect from the Fed, how rate change could make impact on the economy. And uh, we have taken the really detailed analysis on that. So currently we see the new vector, the new reaction in the rhetoric. So you probably also see that that uh, central bank's representative starts to appeal to starting of the t military tensions in Europe is that it might hurt the recovery of the economy and maybe central bank should not be too hurry up with the rate change to avoid uh, stagflation and so on. So this already is using like the reason to not uh, make the rate change or at least in Europe or to make it slower than initially suggested in the United States. But in fact, uh, speaking on the United States, the United States has really just, I would say, theoretical trading relations with Russia. This turnover, trading turnover is very small. So I don't think that uh, any sanctions could hurt the United States economy to make the um, mutual impact as it, for example, could make in Europe. So it's sort of a different situation. That's why um, hardly uh, the Fed will uh, appeal to uh, to this subject as to approve dovish approach to the rate change. At the same time, currently investors a bit uh, come down the hawkish sentiment and now mostly watching for just 25 points rate change. My suggestion is that this will be really dovish and that could uh, lead to a drop of the United States dollar in the short term, within a week, maybe within a few sessions. It's just because even the half percent rate change hardly will be helpful to the current economic conditions because currently inflation in United States, United States has the structural roots it's not just monetary inflation when you could just cut the supply, cash supply by the rising rates and that's on. It's not so. So because inflation currently stands in the household, uh, actually prosperity um, in uh, in industry and uh, it's very difficult to control. And I think that, well, um, Whatever Fed will do, hardly they will be able to control this inflation, especially when they set the terminal rate around 2.5%. This is too low rate to make something. Uh, besides, closer to the autumn of 2022, I suppose it will be clear that Fed attempts to control the inflation, hardly bring any result, and uh, it will be seen possible slow down on the economy already once they have will start to start to start to rise the rate. So I explained my position in the, today's week report. So you could read at least the conclusion where I'm trying to explain why I think so. Well, uh, on the geopolitical news, guys, I would not want to comment uh, them a lot. Actually, currently there's two major positions. The first one is, uh, well, uh, the first one is uh, that uh, Putin has swallowed the bait that was set by the West and currently the situation will be used to destabilize the political situa situation inside the Russia in the long term and later use it as the tool uh, to confront with China. So this is uh, 
well, just in two words speak. Second moment is that recent steps, Putin steps was not, uh, has become, well, at least some part of them have become surprised for the West. And, uh, well, uh, they will take the pulse and see what will happen next. So, and actually, if, if this is so, that this was a bit surprised and uh, not expected, then currently uh, this situation stands not in favor of Joe Biden administration. Is actually, it seems so that they have lost the Ukraine and, and has no response except maybe some sanctions. That uh, is another point of view. What it will be in reality, who knows? Uh, but Macron today said that uh, be prepared for a long-lasting conflict. So it will not be fast. Um, that's all about geopolitics. I do not want to dig this topic too much. Now, let's take a look at the short term uh, technical situation. Well, on Friday, we see a very nice bounce. But currently, it's still the question whether it is real reversal, uh, some easing of the situation after the first shock, or it's just a short covering of the speculators who have made the bet on uh, starting of the escalation of the conflict in uh, Ukraine. So overall pullback now seems not as uh, very strong and we I think that we need still to watch what will happen. Because for taking the long position, I would wait for a bit more confirmation that indeed it might be a reversal. Indirectly, with the cross-market analysis, it seems that indeed it might be the action above this area. It might be some greater, some ABC retracement, because we have the uh, stop grubber on a dollar index. So if we take a look on the dollar index. We have the stop grubber as a bearish on the dollar index. It means that it's bullish on the euro. It's suggesting taking out of these lows, or this one at least. And take a look. It has been formed right at the major 618 level. Once you have remembered probably that we said that while euro already has hit the 618 level, the dollar index is still coming to it. Now it has happened. It has tested the 618 and formed the bearish grubber. And also this is the signs of the Russian rinse. And actually we have the signs of the Russian rinse on the euro currency as well. But at the same time on a 10 year yield, you can see that interest rates stop dropping, forming the bullish reversal bar here. And all falling price action stands in the same area. So we do not see big run into the safety. We do not see big demand for treasuries. It's potentially bullish sign for a dollar as well. And not quite good for euro currency. So it means that uh, currently on the euro currency situation still stands twofold. It's, uh, well, it's not definitely bullish. Uh, that's why I suppose that we need to control few important levels uh, that stand on the lower time frames. First of all, on the four hour time frame chart, I would watching for breakout of the 113 first. So moving above the previous lows. If it will be successful, then potentially I would watching for a kind of the reverse head and shoulders or something of that sort before thinking about taking the long position. So we need to get clear signs that this is becoming at least by the price action. Of course, it's, it was too deep to, to call it as a head and shoulders. But at least by the action, we need to see that here market indeed starting some reversal and we could count on a bit higher upward action. So before taking the long position. And also on the hourly chart around the 113, it will be interesting what will happen with this gorgeous chip to sell. Uh, of course, this pattern also might be used for separate trading, for scalp trader trading on the hourly chart. That might be used for taking the short, fast uh, bearish position as well. So. But if you are, well, actually see more signs, bullish signs, and you are, have more confidence that market is turning up, well, you could try to take the position directly on the dollar grabber and um, taking a long position directly on the euro currency with just placing stop below these lows. Probably this uh, way of trading is also have some reasons. Uh, but I'm just a bit more conservative. I prefer to see a bit more bullish signs before they pull the trigger. So this is our view on the euro currency.